Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do your daily vibes, the daily energy that I'm picking up on today for whenever it resonates for you. This is for July 1st, Sunday, July 1st. This is for whoever it resonates with. I pulled my deck, put it right here, okay? Um, and this is what's on top. We have the Five of Swords. So this is conflict, okay? It's conflict, and, and somebody is feeling like totally defeated, totally, um, you know, he thinks he's won. He thinks he's won by tearing this person down. She's on her knees begging. She's like, I, I'm done. I can't, I, I've, I'm done. I can't take much more of this. I can't take much more of this. You see? And, and he's proud. He's proud what he's done. He's not looking down at her. He doesn't care about her. He doesn't care that she's hurting. He won. We're going to shuffle. That two of cups that was right underneath, could this could be a partner that you're with. Obviously, it was a man and a woman on that card. Okay, so this could be in regards to a partnership. There could be a new offer of love coming in. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, that's, that's what was on the bottom of the deck before I really shuffled. So uh, I don't really, I'm just wanting to take that card. It just came up again. Um... Oh, I just kept looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. So it definitely was a message, okay, for somebody. Oh, here we go. We'll take these. Fool. The fool. Fresh new start on the horizon. Get out there and have some fun. Take a risk. Your future looks bright. All you have to do is take that next step. Somebody is thinking about it still. Not so. Not trying to be so impulsive. Yeah, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. The Seven of Swords. Sneaky. Sneaking away. Lies. Getting away with something. Boy, that's a sly son of a gun, isn't it? Very sly. See, there's guards right here. There's guards, but they can't even, they're not even, they're not even noticing him. Boy, he must be super... Super shady, super knows exactly what he's doing, knows what he's doing. He's done this before. He has, he's, he's got it down, he knows exactly what he's doing. Now, there could this is a three of cups, there could have been some cheating going on, or there is some cheating going on. Just saying, there could be because these are both these can't they all mean so much, these can both signify cheating. But somebody's thinking about a fresh start, thinking about it, you know. This is where he's ready. He's on the edge here. I think he's making wishes and, and waiting. I think there's there's a there's a a wishing star. Should I follow? Should I should I go after my wish? Maybe he's making a wish. Because on a falling star, that's what you do. You wish upon a star. So this is a man or a woman. I mean we have long hair, so this is this is somebody. 
making a wish for a new start, a fresh new start, to restore their happiness perhaps after some cheating or lying or defeat. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, so what is your wish? Are you wishing for a new beginning? Are you are you wishing for a new beginning in love? I mean, usually my readings are love readings, and we're going to keep it at that, obviously. Okay, we have the lover's card. This is a unexpected choice in love. We had this yesterday, too. Maybe somebody just wants a reconciliation. This could be a reconciliation after some sneaky behavior. It could go either way. Maybe somebody is been wanting this fresh new start somebody's been wishing for it and maybe the this angel is gonna come give it to you now this was this is really carrying on after yesterday's reading so perhaps this energy is still playing out somebody's wish may be may be manifesting but there has been some lies there has been some deceit there's somebody that has 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 done something that they may have gotten away with at one time. Maybe they got away with it at that at one time. But doesn't mean that they won't get caught or they hadn't got caught. This right here, this lover's card, that's an unexpected choice. Usually in love, it could be in any other circumstances, but it happens very unexpectedly. It is it's a gift. It's a gift from the angels. It's your wish. It is. It's your wish. Oh, huh. well, we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. I'm not going to use it, but we have that's the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe, who knows what. I'm looking up when I shuffle these cards because, you know, they're on both sides. Here it is. The world. A brand new beginning. Brand new. Somebody's learned a major lesson in their lives. When the world card comes out, a lesson has been learned. And now you have a major new beginning right in front of you because the lesson, uh, a major life lesson, okay, that was learned over a period of time, a significant period of time has been learned. Therefore, that cycle is over and now it's time to begin again. And there is an opportunity, the first card and the last card, they're mirroring each other. There's an opportunity for a major new beginning here that could make somebody really, really happy after a betrayal a big betrayal and it would it has the opportunity to restore balance and harmony there's definitely a contract perhaps a soul contract involved with this situation this could be a soulmate you're going to have to make a decision and be prepared to live with the consequences of your decision there's an unexpected choice in which there will be consequences whether you accept it or not um, but this does lead you on a new journey, a new, uh, a new phase of your life. Okay. A major new phase. Okay. Chariot. Moving forward, headed in the right direction. Somebody is, is, could be heading in your direction. Seriously, somebody could be heading in your direction or you could be heading in theirs. Somebody's on the move. Somebody's, somebody is, is doing something. They're moving forward. They're doing something. They're finding the strength. They're finding the force. They're replacing their fear. They're taking action. Somebody is absolutely taking action in regards to what, where their wish, what their wish is. Oh, we have the magician card. It's yeah, you're you're <laughs> whatever you have manifested is is happening. Okay, it is whatever you have manifested that is going to make you happen is happening. It's like you you have used your power, and now it's it's going to happen. Um, Oh, 
love when that happens, don't you? Ace of Wands is a new spark, a new growth, a new fertility, a new exciting opportunity being offered to you. There's a new beginning here that has room for expansion and growth. Oh, there's one hidden underneath it. We're not doing reversals with these cards, but I'll just leave it because what the heck, right? Might as well. Um, this Eight of Swords reversed. This is somebody removing the obstacles. I'm not... And this is lies and this is lies reversed. It's time for me to stop lying. I've been lying. It's time for me to stop lying. I have to take action. I have to take action to bring success and happiness back to my life. There is an opportunity for a new spark right under the lovers, a new partner, whether this is a brand new partner or a reconciliation, because it could be, this Three of Cups could be a reconciliation, something that somebody has been manifested. Maybe somebody comes to, you know, I don't want these obstacles anymore, even though, you know, I've been in denial for quite some time. It's time for me to take the blindfold off. It's time for me to accept the truth and offer this new beginning. So there is an opportunity for a new beginning where somebody, I think, decides to tell the truth. The seven to the eight, the eight is reversed. I think they decide to be honest. They take action. They head in the direction of wish fulfillment because they're replacing their fear. Interesting. I can't wait to see what this last card is. Oh, the Ten of Swords. I'm going to let go of the betrayal. I'm going to I'm going to end this betrayal. I'm ending the betrayal. I'm ending the de the deceit. I need to end this hurt. We need to complete this cycle. And if you look, this Ten of Swords is right underneath the World card. Somebody is taking action to end a very difficult cycle. They've learned a huge lesson about deceit and betrayal and lies. And there's a new opportunity here for, I think, for some, a reconciliation or even a brand new partnership with somebody that... mirrors your soul but it's for on a soul level okay it's on a soul level it's not on a physical level per se okay i mean it is there's seduction here there is there's attractiveness there's 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 definitely an attraction okay i mean my, my light is unplugged so it got dark for a, a minute we're just gonna have to leave it like that um Look at it. it. It did get dark, didn't it? It did. So maybe, maybe this will happen bef at nighttime for some of you. Maybe that's what will happen. Hold on, I'm trying to plug this light in so we can bring the light back. Um. Oh boy, I don't know what that was. Interesting. Oh, well, that was the printer. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um. Now, tens are completions that leads to new beginnings. I feel like somebody has decided that I'm going to be honest. I'm going to let go of this hurt. I'm going to let go of this betrayal. And I am going to free myself from that mentality because a ten of swords is a mentality. They've learned through suffering. I mean, this is the ultimate suffering. I've hit rock bottom. And from rock bottom, where can you go from rock bottom? Anywhere but up. You have only place you go is up so maybe last night because this has happened at night you see how it got dark maybe last night I don't know who this is for somebody had some sort of epiphany about where their wish fulfillment lies see we have dark here we have dark here we have dark here a lot of darkness and the room got dark so I think something has happened at night, whether it was last night or it's going to happen tonight or tomorrow night, where it, it um, allows someone, 
Now here comes the light. To see the light. It allows someone to see the light. Oh, geez, um, girl. And maybe they offer a new beginning. I'm, I want this new beginning. I can't live with this hurt anymore. So there could be some sort of uh, reunion or reconciliation after some lies and deceit. And that's what I see. Somebody, something happens at night and they start to see the light and they move forward. They head in your direction. They get in their vehicle because this is a vehicle and... They decide to, to tell the truth by the looks of things. We're going to get some angel romance cards because I feel like that's what it's calling for. Um, oh, I just fell right over. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Maybe somebody's friend decided to help them. I don't know. On this one fell out too. Retreat. It's time to dis disconnect from the world. And you know, I don't know who this message is for, but there's two people here. Not one. There's two people here as well. So maybe this person, if this person comes comes to talk, you, you do. Maybe you decide to travel with this person. I don't know what this is. Forgiving and learning. Wow, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? And that's what this is about. Something has happened at night where somebody has decided to forgive because they have learned a really big lesson, and that is exactly what this is. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Yeah. That's what this reading is about. There's a new beginning on the horizon, whether it's a reconciliation or it is a new love. There's going to be an unexpected offer of love, whether it's today, tomorrow, or whenever. I, this is for July 1st that comes through because somebody has received some sort of epiphany at night that has allowed them to see the light. Now there's a new a new chapter starting, a brand new chapter. So, I mean, there's really not much more to say about this. There's a major new beginning. There is. After somebody has hit rock bottom, and I don't I don't want to hurt like this anymore. I know I can't I don't. I'm ready for this new beginning. I'm ready. So anyway, that's what I have. Talk to you later.